Yeah, the, the Swan Conference is for us a very important event because that's the place where we meet the suppliers to build up the, the smart infrastructure uh, for the future. Well, essentially, we're, we're creating smart networks so, so that we can understand leakage and, and supply. Um, and tackle it when it happens. So we, we get real-time knowledge of leaks starting. We know how big they are because we're measuring all the flows um, and we can point uh, technicians at, at the right place to go and investigate and so find them much, much quicker and, and, and fix them. Um, the aim being to fix them before customers tell us about them. I think the big challenge that the water industry face is fundamentally a mismatch between supply and demand. So there's increasing population, so there's more people to service, and there isn't enough water to do that. You've got to do that, though, within a constrained budget, and that's the big problem. Well, I believe a smart network is, first of all, is about communication, so we need to uh, get data from our network, from the sensors. We need to understand what is going on in our networks. All this data needs to be uh, analyzed and uh, we need to be able to actually take actions over the network to optimize our efficiency and our services. Uh, even in the Netherlands, uh, you can ask the 10 water utilities, what is your definition of a smart grid? There is no definition. So the only thing we can rely on is the VTEN's definition of a smart grid. And that's basically the tremendous switch as an organization from a reactive water utility to a proactive water uh, utility. And that's what we achieve in uh, developing our own smart grid. So we're making use of sensors, uh, data, big data, into a real-time um, a modus to inform the organization, the operation, but also the customers. Knowing what you're doing, being able to predict problems and fix them before they're affecting customers, through knowing about things quicker, you can react quicker, you can do things in a planned way and therefore bring down costs. I think for me a smart network has got a few components. One, you've got to have sensors so that you can get data off your network, but two, you've got to do something with that data. It's no good just having lots of data, you've got to make sure you put it to use. And there are two ways really of using it effectively. One is to get actionable insight, so you've got something that you can pick up and do something with. Not something you've got to sit there and analyze and look at and ponder over, wonder whether it's accurate or reliable, um, but do something with. Or, and secondly, you can use it to automate, so you can actually get machinery, software in effect, uh, to take control of things for you, so that you actually don't have to do that uh, action yourself. That we believe that a smart grid um, is changing the type of organization. So the, the uh, organizational changes we, we have in mind. But the most important one is that we are quite sure that the smart grid is helping us the relationship with our customers in the future. I, I really think that the industry needs to embrace this instead of talking about it and wondering about business cases. Um, we don't know what we're going to find we, when we get all this data coming in. I think we'll discover things we never dreamt about.